September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. According to the American Cancer Society, more than 10,000 children under the age of 15 will be diagnosed with cancer in the, in the country this year. But because of, because of major advances, 85% of children with cancer can now survive five years or longer. And ABC, ABC 6 News, Good Morning reporter Cindy Zatz, shares more on one Albert Lee, Albert Lee girl's journey. Seven-year-old Cora Hall was diagnosed with brain cancer earlier this year. She'd been struggling with headaches, getting little to no relief from over-the-counter medicine. Then she started having trouble with one of her eyes, and her parents took her to the doctor. Listen to your kids. They know and something's wrong with them. An MRI found a softball-sized brain tumor on the back of Cora's head. She was diagnosed with brain cancer and ended up having surgery, six weeks of radiation, and chemotherapy. You were scared, weren't you? Cora has a very rare form of cancer. She's only the eighth one in the world to have it. The simplest way to describe it is a rare fusion. It's scary to know that it is so rare, but I think Cora has prospered through every treatment and every obstacle that uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to stay hopeful these days. In the beginning, it was a lot scarier than it is now. Explaining to Cora's three other siblings wasn't the easiest task. Why she got a tumor, how she got it, if they could get it from her, like if it was contagious. You don't know at such a young age what's, what's appropriate to share. Even though she was away from her friends at school, she made connections with nurses, playing games, and getting crafty. We did that spin art. Yeah. And put that paint and then it spun it around. Yeah, and I did that like thing that said, Mom. Yep. That was cool too, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you have to clean up the mess or did the nurses help clean up? Nurses help. That must have been nice, <laughs> huh? Yeah. Cora was a bit camera shy, but her face lit up when she mentioned a certain teddy bear. A nurse brought Cora a bear with a fart machine inside, controlled by a remote. A fart machine? Cora not only pulled tricks in the hospital, but also at home, bringing a smile to her face as well as her families when things were tough. And for other families experiencing similar hardships, the Hall family says leaning on friends and family is key. You're going to need them if you're in a position like this. Cora says she's feeling much better. She has an MRI next month to see if there's been any regrowth of the tumor. She's also been selected for Make-A-Wish. Her request is to go to Disney World. In studio, Sidney Zatz, ABC 6 News.